Hello everyone, and before I get started today, I do want to apologise for not uploading last week. Last week I just physically had no time to kind of sit down and film a tutorial for you, so obviously if I couldn't film anything, I couldn't edit anything and upload it. Um, but also last week it was Tiff's 20th birthday, so happy birthday to Tiff. Um, on the day I was supposed to actually upload, um, it was her birthday, and so we like went down to Dramana and actually celebrated with her, so I couldn't actually film anything on the day I was supposed to upload either, so... Long winded story for apologising for not uploading. But I'm back today with a new makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to film kind of like a Valentine's Day makeup look for you that you can kind of carry from day to night. I guess now without further ado we should just get started, shall we? To make sure your makeup stays on all day long, I'm going to start with a primer. And this is the Bourjois Happy Light Luminous Serum Primer. And you can see how much I've used. I absolutely love this primer. I really like this primer because it actually doesn't like feel heavy on my skin at all. Um, it kind of does just like melt into your skin. You do still feel it on your skin, but like I'm okay with that. Eventually, it does melt into your skin and blends with the foundation, so it doesn't feel cakey or anything. For foundation, I'm actually going to be mixing two foundations, and it's going to be the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is in 100 Ivory, so it's a little bit too light for me. And the other foundation I'm mixing it with is the Benefit Hello Floors Oxygen Wow, um, longest name ever, um, foundation. This is in I'm Plush and Precious Petal. This is a bit too yellow for me, so by mixing them, it, this one darkens this one up and also adds like a yellow tone to this one that, like, you know, I kind of need. Please ignore like the red crap on my hand as well because um, I just got some makeup in the mail and so I was just watching it on my hand so ignore that. I don't have some kind of like infectious rash. To help my eyeshadow stay on all day, I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I've got like the small bottle that came with my Urban Decay naked palette. I want to get my hands on the naked three so badly. like. I love wearing kind of like pinky rose tones on my eyes so when I found that palette and like when I saw that like those those were like the colours and like it was like a rose hue themed I was like did they just make my perfect palette? I think they did but we, they don't sell Urban Decay in Australia and I don't think I don't think any I haven't found any like sellers on Amazon or anything that will ship to Australia yet so I'll just sit here and wait shall I? while well, everyone else gets to use it. So I, was, I promised myself I wouldn't cry at this. While I let the primer potion stay on my eyes for a little bit, I'm going to use the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. One thing I am going to start doing now with my videos is I do realise I'm, I'm a bit of a talker. I talk a lot and I edit out so much talking, but I realise that like even when I'm talking and like describing products, I do talk quite a bit and so I edit out a lot of product descriptions and what I think of the products and everything. So like when I watch back the final video, even though it's shorter and under 10 minutes, it's still not the best video because I feel like I'm not being honest with you guys and telling you guys what I actually think of products and everything. So I've decided now I'm not going to care about how long the video is. If the information I need to tell you guys is vital, I'm going to include it. So people who don't like longer videos, they can just deal. For eyebrow gel, I'm just going to use the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Espresso like I always do. Because I like them dark brows. I just got a bit on my skin. Good job, Katie. I just realised I forgot to conceal, so I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in Medium 1 Custard. It's a little bit too dark for me, but the shade above it is not my shade like at all this is the closest i could find to my skin tone so a little bit annoyed about that but at the same time i don't really mind like if i just blend it in well enough and then like i just kind of bounce my foundation brush over where i put the concealer it's not that big of an issue it's just a lot of scarring that i have left over now that's annoying, so. Now that I've let the Urban Decay Primer Potion stand for a while, it's been a while now actually, I'm gonna go in with my, oh that's the wrong way, Stila in the Light Palette. I've been loving using this palette recently actually. Um, I'm so glad that me convincing Jen to buy it has made me want to buy it and yeah. So I'm just gonna take Bliss, which is that one, on uh, just a blending brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. 
I'm just taking that through the, like just dusting that through the crease really. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Sunset which is that one and I actually really love this colour. I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this so so glad I have this palette. I think it's just a really good staple palette that you know if you're looking for your first high-end palette I think this is a really good one to go for. I know in Australia it is quite pricey. I think this palette was like $62 or something, which is a bit pricey, but I think it's really hard to say whether or not a product is worth it when it comes to price because there are definitely like a lot of things in the drugstore, chemist, whatever, that don't cost as much but are definitely competitors with um, high end brands. But I feel like with eyeshadows, high end takes the cake with it. Um, because I just haven't really found any palettes in the drugstore or any eyeshadows in the drugstore that I'm like, yes, I need these in my life forever and I would use on a daily basis. I'm then just going to take Bear on my brow bone and Kitten in my inner corner. Kitten is like, ugh, there's no words, honestly, of how much I love this eyeshadow. I'm really thinking of just getting the single pan eyeshadow. Of kitten even though that is like $29 or something I do honestly think it's worth it my favorite combination of just like really simple go-to um, eyeshadow right now is using Maybelline's color tattoo bad to the bronze on the lid and then chucking kitten over the top like I you wouldn't think to use it like that but I was watching like some old videos I think of like Miss Glamorazzi or something and then she was wearing that combination and I absolutely loved it so I tried it out and the proof is in the pudding. I'm just going to pick up Sunset again and take that all the way under my eye. I'm then going to take this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Stingray, which is just a black, um, and do my upper lash line with tight lining. God, I always forget what that's called when it comes when I like start recording. Now I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie and something that I haven't used in a really long time. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix. That's the French side. No, that's the English side. No, French and English are on the same side. I'm an idiot. Uh, correcting Concealer Radiance Anti-Fatigue thing in 51 Light Radiance. Good. This is why I don't like using my fingers. Okay. Good thing I'm wearing trackies, it's okay. <laughs> this is a product that I've actually neglected for a while and then I found it again when I was digging through my bronzer tray, I guess if you've seen my makeup collection video. This is the Bourjois Bronzing Primer and it's been like compared to the Chanel Universelle Solder Tan French thing. Like the Chanel um, mousse bronzer and everything and yeah. To be honest, I don't think that they're not the same product in my opinion because this, as it says on the package, it's a bonding primer. So what, like, like what bourgeois actually want you to use it for is like use it under your foundation and use it as kind of like a way to bronze up your skin while looking really healthy and then it can be a, uh, like a primer to help your foundation stay on. You can mix it in with your foundation to like darken off your foundation a little bit. This is what I can do with like my Match Perfection foundation. But yeah, I'm just going to use it as a, just a mousse bronzer today. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it in. I'm just going to leave it like this on my face. For blush, I'm actually going to be using a product that is newer in my collection. It's the Stila Convertible Color Lip, Joy Lip and Cheek Cream, and I've got it in Peony. Um, to be honest, it doesn't look like what it looks like in the pan. You are going to have to swatch it on your, like, the back of your hand or something to see a true color on your skin, because um, it definitely does not look like this on my cheeks. But I still like the color um, payoff that it gives. Sorry, I just, like, swallowed 
like swallowed and breathed in at the same time, so I thought it almost died. But anyway, taking like a stippling brush, I'm stabbing that on, and I don't really like to focus this on the apple of my cheek. I kind of like to blend this out backwards, so that is what I'm going to do. Next is another product that I have dug up from the bottom of my face powder drawer. This is the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and... The reason I just never really use this is because I'm an absolute mess when it comes to loose powder. Like, I get it everywhere. Um, so, yeah, but that is just what it looks like. It's got, like, a bit of a flesh tone to it, so I don't know how it would go on darker skin. But it says it's translucent, and it's actually, like, I think it's probably, like, as Face of Australia's, like, most sold product for a while before I bought this. I could never find it anywhere. And for like $12 you get quite a bit of product like so you know I don't really know where I was going with that. Anyway, you know, taking it on a big brush and just blending it out because you want the powder to help set your foundation and because I've used cream products for bronzer and blush you can take and because of translucent you can take it over those products to make sure it's not like dulling the product in any way but also setting it as well so now it's the tough part I don't know how I'm supposed to get like the product in here back in here without getting like powder everywhere like do you just do this again you guys can just watch me fail at this miserably no oh, that, that worked out pretty well my like, god, well, now I can't screw on the lid. And now there's powder flying everywhere. Great. But there we go, put the lid back on. For mascara, I'm gonna use Maybelline the Rocket. Like, just look at the difference, the mascara. Just like, I've only got mascara on my top lashes, and it's only one coat, but look at the difference um, this mascara makes. So, absolute favourite. I still don't understand why they don't sell this in Australia yet. Like, it's probably like one of Maybelline's best-selling mascaras, I would have to say. Don't know why they don't have it in Australia yet. And for our last product for the lips, it's going to be the Rimmel London Colour Rush Lasting Finish Long Lasting Intense Colour Balm. That wasn't the right order. This is in the shade Give Me a Cuddle, which is just quite... which is just quite... Um, which is like just bright pink kind of colour. I'm gonna like mute it out a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit on and then blend it out so it's not so harsh. So this is my finished Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. This is definitely more of a kind of a dayish look I guess. It's nothing dramatic. It's nothing intense like that. Um, but I really like it. I've actually been wearing this look out a bit, actually, and then I realised it's actually quite a good Valentine's Day look because it's kind of got that pink and rosy hues to it, and it doesn't look too complicated or anything like that. So, yes, I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys just have a wonderful week, really, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.